Hi, this is Stephen from Aswin Mac Tech. This is a video update on that black screen problem that you have in uh, Deploy Studio uh, with the new build, with the, the new Macs that are coming in. And uh, well, in my case, we started getting these new Macs, MacBook Pros. And in the past, everything was working fine. I was happy with it. Server was great. And all of a sudden, we started getting these black screens and, and, a, and a mouse. And that's it. And I was like, well, what's going on? So at first, you know, I redid the server, did everything, blah, blah, nothing. And, you know, I did it again, nothing. I'm like, wow, what is going on? So I did a little digging, and I'll show where I found uh, the solution. But the problem is, is with the uh, recovery partition. It's not updated. So basically, I took a picture um, of my recovery partition here at home. And this is for my external drive. So you got the OS, the boot drive, and then you got the recovery partition. Now you see down here, it says recovery 10.8, right? Well, the thing is what you want to do, okay, is when you get these new Macs and they're coming in, don't upgrade them. Don't do it. If they're coming with 10.8.3, leave them there. If they're coming with 10.8, leave them there. Don't upgrade them to 10.8.4 because Apple doesn't, uh, uh, when you do the update, it doesn't update the recovery partition. So they're out of sync, okay? The updates, the versions are different. So uh, basically what you do is you go to Deploy Studio on the client, okay? On the client machine, uh, if it's the MacBook, the iMac, uh, MacBook Pro, just uh, go to the, uh, to the website here. Let me back up here. Go here. And install uh, on here. Okay, install one one point six point two. Okay, install that. Now, what you want to do is install it and uh, uh, create a netboot set. So I'm gonna launch my assistant here. Skip this. You don't need to worry about setting up the server. Just go straight to here. This is what I did. Okay, um, after a lot of frustration. Trust me. <laughs> uh, create a netboot set. And don't update the machine. Even if asked for an update, do not update the machine. Create a netboot set. And, uh, of course, on your server, put your IP address in there, your host name, your user and password, so it can automatically log in so you don't have to worry about that. Because I didn't do that, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I had to do it again and put, my, put all my credentials in there, created the netboot set. Then when I transferred my netboot set from the client machine, to the machine where I'm running Deploy Studio and my server and ha where I store all my images, um, it'll auto log in. After I hit the end key down, you'll go through the process, it'll come up and I'll see runtime and then everything will automatically log in and I see all my images, everything's good. So basically you need to just leave that machine alone, install uh, Deploy Studio and create create a Deploy Studio Netboot set on that client machine. And then after you do that, transfer that Netboot set, which is this. Let me show you here. Libraries, Netboot set, where are you? Here, here. This is the, this is the Netboot set, okay, right here. Uh, Netboot set, that's what this is, okay? You wanna create that on the machine um, that has not been updated, okay? So this is this is for my external drive. Let me make this picture a little bit smaller here. Okay, and it creates a recovery partition 10.8. Okay, so I did this today, and it worked perfectly fine with the new machines. Okay, it worked fine, flawless. Then I used an uh, 09 machine, an older machine, and it worked flawlessly. So uh, that's the uh, workaround for uh, the problem with the black screen in Deploy Studio. So Apple just doesn't update, when you do an update, it, they don't update the recovery partition either. So that's the problem. So uh, let me, I got another picture here. And this is on my internal drive here on my Mac. Don't worry about this Windows, that's boot camp. This is my HD and this is my recovery partition, 10.8. So um, if I was going to create a netboot set for my machine at home, I wouldn't well, I've already messed. I've already updated the machine, but if this was a new machine, I wouldn't uh, update it. I would just create a download Deploy Studio and create a netboot set, and then you transfer that netboot set to your server where you have all your image in Deploy Studio. Put it in. Put it in this folder right here. 
you put it in libraries, netboot, netboot set sp0, and just put it in here. And that's it. And then if you want to restart the machine, it'll come up and make it default. Make sure you make it default. And that's it. Everything, Everything's A-OK, -okay, man. Everything's good. And it should come up like this. Let me launch my server. Let me get rid of these windows here. I'm going to tell you, this was frustrating, man. Frustrating because, you know, school's about to start and, uh, you know, we got a lot of Macs. Okay, right here, net install. So when you create a, when you create that, when you drag it over to your server, it'll pop up right here and then you can just double click this. Oh, I'm sorry, no, don't do that. Uh, go down here, just select it. If you have another one down here, just select it and just make it a default. And then when you hit the end key, or usually I hit the option key and it shows up right there. I just select it. Boom. You're good to go. And it works. And uh, so if you have any questions, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. But if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Um, put your comments down there and everything. Email me. Um, and if this is helpful for anybody out there that's struggling in, in Mac Labs or any educational institution, I totally understand your feeling. Um, contact me. Um, Share this video, get it out there because I'm going to tell you, man, it, it can be frustrating if you don't know what's going on, especially if you're in a tight deadline and you need to image your labs and get it done. I know that feeling. So hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you later.